when you say chemistry to a lot of people, their first response is, oh, I was terrible at chemistry, okay? So there's, there's some fear involved, and, and a, you can be intimidating if you use a lot of complex vocabulary and you don't appreciate that um, you have to explain it in, in terms that can be well understood. So thinking about that ahead of time, how to, how to convey concepts without burying them in a lot of arcane vocabulary is the most important thing. Start off with a very basic information and then tell why this work is important and where it is going to lead and what is going to be your next move. Imagine yourself uh, telling a story to a four or five years old. And that doesn't mean, you know, um, renouncing to telling true things about science. It's not about, you know, wishy-washing the science. It's really about um, getting the attention of your, of, of your audience. This is really key in science communication. I think it's uh, prior to communicating, clearly think about what you've done. Um, and I like to think about everything in terms of, of one-liners. How do you summarize the significance of what you've done in a very short statement? Because that's what um, writers typically key on. Uh, that's what people focus on. And if you have to take a paragraph or two to describe what you've done, you're probably not going to get your point across. So I generally find that the best way to talk to people is actually to look them straight in the eye and tell them the truth. Really what people want to understand is what your science will do for them. So I find that the best approach is to actually try to engage them on their level and tell them the absolute truth about what it means to them in pounds, shillings and pence or, or nickels and dimes.